Planet Dolan. What lake could kill thousands of people at any moment? Where can you find an island with flesh melting snakes? From radioactive wastelands to cities run by cannibal warlords, here are 10 of the most dangerous places on Earth. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 10. A few things to remember if you decide to visit the city of Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea. First off, don't go out after sunset. Secondly, don't go out before sunset. Seriously, that's advice you'll get from the authorities in Port Moresby, where the wealthy surround their homes with razor wire and armed security guards. The murder rate is 23 times higher than in London, and robberies, rapes, and other violent crimes are equally high. Police turn a blind eye to much of the city's crime because they fear gang retaliation. Number 9. The good news is, you likely don't have to fear murderous gangs of bandits in Madidi National Park. The bad news is, everything else wants to kill you. The animals are aggressive and poisonous. Bugs and spiders are also aggressive and poisonous. If you happen to be there to study rare plants and animals, it's a treasure trove. If not, it's a death trap where even the plants are out to get you. Number 8. Kyrgyzstan is home to one of the Soviet Union's largest uranium mining operations, which means it's also home to one of the world's largest radioactive dumps. Now that would be fine, except then they built a town on top of the nuclear waste. While Lusu is one of the most populated places on Earth, and rates of cancer and leukemia are exceptionally high even among children. Number 7. Oymyakon, Russia is the coldest place on Earth. Well, it's the coldest place on Earth where people actually try to live normal lives. The people live on permafrost that runs about a mile deep. Souvenirs in that town all carry the number minus 71.2. That's the lowest recorded temperature recorded in the town. It's so cold there that throwing boiling water in the air will cool it into a cloud of snow and your face can become frostbitten in a matter of minutes. Number 6. Minkin County is the site of an oasis sandwiched between two massive deserts. The problem is that desert is rapidly getting bigger, and that greenery is disappearing. As droughts continue to crop up, the livable era of Minkin County continues to shrink. The problem is, 2 million people live there. Things have gotten so bad that the government of China has declared Minkin County an ecological disaster area, and has begun relocating the population before the area becomes completely uninhabitable. It's not a great place to call your hometown. Number 5. Of all the dangerous places in Africa, you wouldn't think an unassuming lake would be one of the most dangerous things you can find. But in 1986, more than 1,700 people were suffocated to death by a carbon dioxide gas explosion at Lake Nyos in Cameroon. Now, Lake Kivu, sitting on the border of Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo, threatens to do the same thing. Only it has a reservoir of methane to make it even more explosive. Number 4. Travel advisories to Burkina Faso come in two different varieties, depending on which part of the country you're looking at. The northern and western parts of the country are do not go under any circumstances. Everything else is don't go unless you really, really have to. Terrorist attacks, kidnappings are common all over the country. And if that's not enough, there's also a high rate of the Zika virus and fever transmission. So if the people don't get you, the mosquitoes might. Number three. The homicide rate in Brazil has pretty much held steady since 2000, which is kind of weird. See, the homicide rate worldwide has dropped sharply in the last two decades, and larger cities like Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro are safer than ever. Problem is, the murder rate in places like Alagoas has written so much that the nationwide homicide rate is basically stable. It sees that 2,000 murders a year with a population of just under 3 million people. For reference, New York City is home to over 8.5 million people, but saw only 334 homicides in 2016. One sixth of the murders would triple the population. Number two. Monrovia, Liberia has already struggling with a sanitation problem. Garbage is not cleared properly and human feces are kind of everywhere. That was before. Then the area flooded, causing water contaminated by trash and sewage to just flow throughout the town. That contaminated water flowed into the number of open wells, polluting the water supply, and brought with it a rash of waterborne diseases. Of course, if the floods of sewage and garbage don't keep you away, perhaps the frequent outbreaks of cholera will convince you. And did we mention Monrovia is currently involved in a decades-long civil war involving cannibal warlords? It's a bag of fun. Number 1. 
Snake Island is home to about 4,000 snakes, despite the island only being about 110 acres. That's about one snake for every six square yards, or five square meters. Snakes have thrived on the island because there were no ground level predators, but there's also no ground level prey, which means that the snakes have evolved to be extra deadly, so they can catch migratory birds. That's why the island has snakes with venom that can literally melt flesh. The Golden Lancehead's venom is about three to five times stronger than that of any mainland snake. That's why lancehead snakes are responsible for 90% of snake bite deaths in Brazil. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!